George is very, very quick in this Mercedes, especially on these medium tyres. As he re overtakes us, we try and go back to the inside. We're thinking about this now, though, with the DRS. We're going to try and do the, the Charles Leclerc manoeuvre, let him through, and then get back on the attack like he did to Max Verstappen in 2022. Here we go, back on the inside of George Russell. In the background is Hamilton, he can't really get close. We retake the lead as George, though, has one more final look at the inside, but he can't do it. We are going to round the final corner up to the line to win our first Grand Prix. We head down the second straight towards turn four. George goes to our inside. He's got a rocket of a launch off the last corner. We have to hold it round the outside. We've gone to cut him back. And Yuki Tsunoda has tapped us round. The, our teammate collides. Our first bit of contact with, Luke, with Yuki Tsunoda. Skipping on now to lap 29, the final lap of the Grand Prix. We could have pressured this man and maybe make it back-to-back -back wins. The race didn't play out as we had hoped and George Russell wins the Grand Prix. It's a Mercedes 1-2 here in Australia and we are going to come home for after a gl glorious Bahrain. It's a horrible Australia. In terms of the championship then, we've dropped from the lead down to third. It's now a Mercedes 1-2 in terms of the championship. George Russell leading by 11 points. We are now 19 points back. As we skip now all the way on to the final lap of the Grand Prix, we have pulled a 19 second gap on Yuki Tsunoda, our teammate, and we round the final corner. It's the one they all want to win. We win the Monaco Grand Prix. Into the championship now, and we have closed the gap to five points behind George Russell. It's lights out and away we go for the Spanish Grand Prix and we have got George at the start. He had a very poor start. We had a great one and we take the lead before we get to the first corner. Coming towards the end of the first lap, we've got a poor exit of the final corner. George has got a good one and we're neck and neck. We use the overtake button to just get us past. It's a, it's a drag race to the first corner. George on the inside, we keep it pinned round the outside, George now has the outside line and now they are going to keep it pinned and go all the way round the outside of turn 3, we're still there, we're not giving up, we're now on the outside of turn 4 and George gives us the little squeeze and we have to back out of it in the end, we tried our hardest to keep George behind, to the outside and we get him into turn one, no messing about that time. And now we go on to the mediums, but we've, we've been caught up in traffic and we've lost out to Fernando Alonso. You can see Hamilton and Verstappen there. And also we're gonna lose out to Fittipaldi and Sonoda, our teammate. Comes George now on his teammate. Can he deny Hamilton the win? Side by side, they go the two Mercedes into the first corner. George now has the inside line for turn 3. Hamilton tries to hold it around the outside. George is going to win the Spanish Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton, from Max Verstappen. But we are going to come home for a fairly strong P4. We dropped P3 then in the drivers. George now leads from Hamilton. As we go into the final chicane, We've been trying and trying to get close enough. We haven't been doing anything stupid because we're in a very good position here. But we're going to go down the inside of Yuki Sonoda into turn one. Yuki holds around the outside. It's like what we tried to do at the start to Charles Leclerc. He fends us off now. We're all over the back. And now we're going to try and go to the outside again. And we've kept it pinned this time round the outside. And we're through on Yuki. But we are going to come round the final corner to make it another win in 2024. We win the Canadian Grand Prix. We do close the gap to one point on George Russell at the top of the table. Out of turn one now on lap two, we have a very poor exit and George is alongside us as we head down into turn three. 
George is on the outside, we're going to show him the door as we come into the final corner, we run a little bit wide, we are going to win the Austria Spring from pole position as we head down now towards turn 4, George is battling with Lando as we head down into turn 4 and the engine has gone bang and we are out, it's the MGUK that is gone and are defending for the lead of the Grand Prix it has ended in retirement thank god it was a sprint weekend i never thought i would be praising the sprint races because it has allowed us to pick up some points this weekend with being the eight in the sprint we go from one point behind to 16 points behind now as we time out picks up turn into perfection but if we're in the pits then and right rear wheel really has struggled to come off we've done a ferrari pissed up it was stuck on and we have lost a ton of positions then who's gonna win the british grand prix we fend him off lando's going for it again and fail but we've done everything we can the, the game's throwing a bad piss up at us but we are going to win the British Grand Prix in terms of the Drivers Championship after taking quite the hit last time out in Austria we closed the gap to two points to George Russell with just two races left before the summer break as Sonoda and Alonso go wheel to wheel into the first corner now we leave and we light up the rear tyres coming out to the first corner and now we've lost so much time we've lost out to Alonso we've lost out to our teammate Yuki and we may lose out to the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc as well we keep our footing at the inside of turn three we give him a little nudge and we do just about stay in third place they're ahead of the two ferraris who are now going wheel to wheel in terms of the championship now we are five points clear of george russell at the top rewind wide alonso has to back out of it and he's made a little mistake and he comes back onto the track and he's here lando norris and he has ripped off his front right corner lando goes to the outside can we win the sprint we have the inside line Lando trying to get back we just need to find any grip we can and we do and we win the sprint and we round the final corner to win the Belgian Grand Prix see our gap in the championship now 29 points we've got over a race win back to George Russell there's the five red lights come on it's lights out and away we go and we've got a great launch off the line we're already past the two the Ferrari and the McLaren, we're going to try and sail it around the outside of George Russell into the first corner. He drops us off and slams the door firmly shut. And now, as we did start to drop back a bit, going on to lap 14, and we've got a DRS issue. As we go into the first corner, the DRS is stuck open. Here is Angle with a shocker. What? I've never had that issue ever in it any F1 game as now the final lap of this Dutch Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton leads George Russell second Mercedes in terms of the championship should really swap these two around but you can't deny Lewis Hamilton a victory and he does win the Dutch Grand Prix George Russell second Carlos Sainz finishes third and we are going to recover then from our DRS issue to finish fourth our first non-win since Austria a non podium since Austria our lead has been cut down a little bit but we're still there we've still got a fairly decent lead 22 points to be exact as we are going to be taking an engine penalty for this race weekend Monza an easy track to overtake on so it makes sense and components have been wearing fairly quickly and now I don't really show this but they have been wearing quite a lot and we're going to need to take a new engine at some point this season so it makes sense that it is here in a month. and we are away and we've got an unbelievable start we're already past the Alfa Tari and everyone's really slow away as we've overtaken six seven eight cars as we get down into the first corner and we go down the inside of the Alfa Romeo that turns to the outside line we make sure we get the power down and our parents wouldn't have taken long before he's on the back of us lap 11 we're thinking of boxing this lap 
as into the Carver Grande we go, into the Parabolica we go. And now we've run a bit wide, we've run a bit wide, and we've been cleared by Perez, and we're spinning round and into the okay, barrier, and into the pit lane. He spun us round. We've got a penalty for that. So we need to be wary of that. Here to pull five seconds as we send it up the inside lane into the first corner. Lando goes bouncing over the curb and he's put us onto the gravel. And as we try and find some grip and away back onto the race track, you can see our five second time penalty. It's going to be P7 on the road, but it's going to be P12 after the penalty. George finishing third and us not scoring a point, it means the gap now is just seven points and that gap of 29 points we had a couple of races ago feels like a distant memory now. And then Alonso disappeared because we had no pace. This is Charles Leclerc now coming at us and behind Leclerc is our championship rival George Russell. The cloud tries to get the job done at the inside, we're going to hold it, keep it pinned though, we go off the track. And now George is doing a chance to get past this, but we're not having that. We cut him back and keep it pinned round the outside. But now, as we come up, heading up towards 130R, George has got a great run, we're going to come up to close him off, and there's contact. We've put ourselves into the wall, we've also sliced out of Hamilton out of the Grand Prix. We're out to the Grand Prix. George is surely out of the Grand Prix, but the Japanese Grand Prix ends for us in dramatic circumstances. Can we talk about George Russell? How has he finished that race? P2 in terms of the championship, and George takes the lead of the championship by 12 points. The first time he's led the championship since Silverstone. That's how strong we've been the last couple of races. As now we've run a bit wide and Alonso's a power inside, Alonso's a power inside. We try and hold it around the outside. This is George now further back. We need a good result in this week compared to him. And we might just get that because George has lit up the rear tyres and spun round. And Alonso getting closer and closer and closer. And up to the line, he's beat us on the line. And now as we head down into the next corner, we've locked up, we've gone deep, we've gone deep, and there's an Aston Martin there, in the middle of the track, the safety cars out, we've lost our front wing, so has Max Verstappen, what has happened here, Lance Stroll all on his own, lights up the rear tyres, and we had absolutely nowhere to go, we were unsighted because of the Red Bull. We're going to try and send it late, we're going to break later, try and go to the outside now, get the exit, try and cut it back, and finally we're going to send it late up the inside, and it's taken so many laps longer than I wanted it to, but finally we're past our championship rival. The gap between us and George is just five points. Now at the end of lap 6, George has fully catched us and he's made a great exit off of that corner. Down into the, the end of that DRS and we've gone wide, we've kept George behind. This is crucial after the last couple of races. We're side by side down with George, he's got the DRS, he's squeezing him right to the inside. Leclerc is waiting in the wings and as we go into the first corner, we try and hold it around the outside. We're going to force him wide enough as now... We're just ahead into the chicane and Lance has spun it around once again for the second race in a row and he's been hit by Gasly wiping off his front wing and his tyre. They're both out and that has brought out a red flag for the strategy now. We're going on to the hards and try and get them to the end but we're racing again after the red flag and we've had an absolute stinker of a start as we really got away very slowly George on the soft so he looks to be two stopping in this race As now we're keeping it in round the outside we go into turn one we're really struggling to find some grip on these hard tyres if we can get them up to temperature we can go and Alonso now round the outside of George as here he goes to the outside of us now heading down into turn one you can see the gap Alonso has and science as well George tries to go around the outside. We do what we've done time and time again in this race. And at the end of lap 22, George 
dumped into the pits to make it. Yeah, I guess it's his one and only stop of the day. Due to the red flag. And he's going on to the medium then to get him to the end. 13 laps to go. So it's game on now. And we are going to get our best result since Belgium. As we finish on the podium. In terms of the championship then. Level on points with two races and a sprint to go this season we pulled out the gap to lewis hamilton and we are going to win the brazil sprint race get in there this is it though the championship eight points between us and george if we win this grand prix we will be 2024 world champions and george has to finish again, at least third to, to keep it alive we are a full pit stop ahead of our championship rival george seeing that lamborghini in his mirrors his heart must have sank massively as we stay out we're gonna cross the line to be champions of the world in 2024 we have done it the battles the back and forth the punches we've been taking out of each other for 15 races we finally sealed it we are world champions for the first time george finishing in 12th i hope you've enjoyed the championship battle this season and as that famous song once said we are champions of the world Thank you.